the Air Force B-52 Stratofortress bomber may wind up flying for close to 100 years, given the extent and longevity of ongoing upgrades to the Vietnam-era classic bomber. Despite their age, the airframes themselves have remained viable for decades, Air Force program managers explain. And with some upgrades and fuselage reinforcement, they're solid enough to fly for decades into the future. However, life-extended B-52s will not merely fly, but will also operate with vastly enhanced computing, communications, electronics, sensors, and weaponry due to a series of technological upgrades. The many B-52 modernization efforts have expanded the mission scope for the aircraft, increased its lethality, and perhaps most of all, generated the ability for a B-52 to operate as a key node within a larger, networked, multi-domain sphere of combat operations. In recent years, the B-52 has been upgraded with a next-generation digital radio system called Connect, which enables real-time in-flight intelligence information sharing. This has been paradigm-changing for B-52 crews, as they are no longer restricted to predetermined mission specifics, but can instead receive intelligence updates in-flight, like new targets or changing threat information. The aircraft has also been outfitted with a more fuel-efficient commercial engine. The B-52 has also received an internal weapons bay upgrade, which substantially enhances the aircraft's weapons carrying capacity to include the ability to fire more JDAMs and joint air-to-surface standoff missiles, a jammer variant of the miniature air launch decoy. Along with the ability to fire as many as eight different J-series bombs, the upgraded B-52 will also fire a now-in-development nuclear-capable long-range standoff missile and even hypersonic weapons. In 2021, the Air Force shot the AGM-183 air-launched rapid response weapon, a hypersonic weapon that received targeting data from sensors a thousand miles away. But how many upgrades? But given all this, the question then becomes, is there a limit to how much the B-52 can be upgraded? Is there a point at which the massively upgraded bomber will ultimately become obsolete? But provided the airframes remain viable or able to be reinforced, the answer to this may simply be a very long time. Sure enough, today's B-52 is entirely different from the 1960s platform, which primarily dropped unguided or dumb bombs across wide swaths of territory, and even carpet bombs certain critical areas. Today's B-52 can fire nuclear weapons, long-range cruise missiles, and precision-guided bombs, and function as an air-mobile bomb truck arsenal plane of sorts. The largest and potentially most impactful innovation of great consequence to the B-52 may be its growing ability to focus as a drone-launching mothership, meaning a platform able to launch and recover drones from the air. This enables multi-node forward reconnaissance operations, as well as an ability to test enemy air defenses, blanket areas with ISR, paint or find targets for other aircraft, and even deliver weapons when directed by a human. As for a B-52's limitations, one might simply consider its potential vulnerability as a large, visible, non-stealthy aircraft easily found by enemy weapon systems, the B-52 is certainly not well positioned to thrive in what Air Force leaders describe as a contested environment, as it might easily fall prey to enemy air defenses or other enemy weapons. Now, this is why the ability to launch drones, engage in long-range, multi-node mesh networking, and deliver massive amounts of ordnance once cleared above a hostile area become so critical to the longevity and continued relevance of the B-52. If a B-52 can launch and operate small numbers of drones from safe standoff distances and deliver long-range precision weaponry, the B-52 may well fly for decades more into the future.